Hi, I was just working on some step outs um, for um, embedded letters and embellishing uh, letters and I was working I thought I should be filming this how I draw each one of the letters and um, I just grid it out on a piece of paper and then I, I hand wrote my letters in pencil and you can see they're just pretty plain and so I'm going to come in and I will do X, S, T, the rest, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z, whoop, and um, then I will do uh, and, and a question mark, so that you can see how I do that, this, so I just... I'm just going to um, trace over my pencil line. And I always do a pencil, my letters in pencil, because I sometimes spell things wrong. and Or I, I just like to do them in pencil before I do uh, the ink. And now we're just going to fatten them up a little bit. And I did that on the on my video embedded letters, but I thought it would be fun just to do to film what I was doing here and I should have started before. And you can see now I'm just going back and thickening up those letters just a little bit. And and you can see this T has is pretty it's a little crooked going this way and it's got a big wave. I will straighten up that design that line. So I kind of straightened it up a little and then I added a little curve to it and now I'm going to straighten up the and I might do it different next time I write my T. I may give it a, a whole nother look but I just straightened it out. And you and I, I give them these little um, little extra wings on them when I draw them with pencil. Oh, I have paint on my fingers. We're painting our kitchen. And I just decided I'd come down and work on it because my husband said he only has one good brush. And so he was... Um, doing the corners and edges because I talked him into doing two tones. The um, All the moldings in the doors, one color and the walls a different color and he is up there painting. I should have washed my hands a little better but I wasn't planning on videoing. So there's the U and now the V and usually I like my V's to have a point. I don't know why I drew it with a little square. Maria had some great um, step outs for the CZTs and yet I can't publish that because that's Maria's work so I'm just doing my own and the W I decided to do the W instead of doing it with points I was going to do it round. See, there's the M, and it's a, you could turn it over and do a W, but I I like to do my Ws a little bit different so that you can tell. There's my X, just very simple, and I love Ys, and so I'm gonna do my Y a little bit smaller so I have room for my little tail. I had inked, I had put it in, penciled it in a little bit bigger. I'll come back and erase that. And uh, I do my upper and lower case wise the same. And now the Z. So there's my Z. 
and now an and sign in. And I don't do that kind of S E looking and sign. This will be my and sign, kind of a backwards three with a line through it. And I'll let that dry a little bit because I've got some pencil mark and then the question mark. And I think that's just easy and fun. Make that little dot a little bit bigger. But there is the alphabet. And then I was just going to do step outs on tangling. So um, let's see, I need one, two, three, four, five. I think I'm going to go down, right down this line right here and do those. So I will number, this is step at one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'm going to change over to my 01 pen so I have a finer line. So, first of all, you make your letter. That's the first thing you want to do. And fill in around your letter. Let's see if I can't come in a little bit closer. And I'll have to remember to move things. So now the second step is to aura. And I probably should have erased a little bit of those pencil marks. So I will come back and erase those. So there we aura, that's two. And then number three, I'm going to have to aura first. Aura, and then we're just going to do some little embellishments. A little. I'm just going to put some little curly Q things. And I like to wait. You can see I put a little weight on the end of them. And fill in that um, little background. Okay, now I'm ready for step four. So I have to do step. I already did step one. Now step two is the aura. And when you have an inside one, you want an aura on the inside also. And now we're going to make the little, and I'm doing my little curly Q things. So I've done my little curly Q things. And then I'm going to come back in, and I'm going to just do a little fill in in those rounded, I'm going to round out and give that a little weight on each one of those so they have a little weight and then we will aura aura that whole thing again so now we're to the U so step five so we've done one, we made the letter. Two, we put a first aura around it. I call these fescue. That's step three, then we do a little um, fill in these, round these corners. Not much we can do on these two because they're kind of just out there. Now we're going to aura that again. So now we've given the aura again and now we can add. I love to add some orbs. And sometimes I do diminishing orbs so they get smaller
So now we have our orbs around it. Now we're down to our Z. So we're going to do all, um, all of the steps. So first we make our Z, that's one. Then we put our aura. Then we give them our little curly cues. And then we come back in and give some weight in the corners. And now we aura again. We've done or now we're going to add our orbs. And now one more aura around the whole thing. And then we can shade it however we like. Come back out. And you can see my um, sample for embellished or embedded lettering. And I wasn't going to film, but I'm glad I did because that was kind of fun. And um, I'll probably do a little bit of embellishing on here. And, uh, and then I'll put this on my um, website. So thanks again and have a great day.